In uh, South Africa, in Durban, this will be a first for the African continent. This Congress has never happened here before in its 14-year uh, history. The Congress takes place every single six years. It started off in 1926, and uh, the last conference was held in Argentina in 2009. So it's wonderful that here in South Africa it's uh, found a home, well, at least for the next couple of days. Uh, the reality is that the preservation of forests are a huge and major concern in every single country. And it's the reality that I don't think citizens understand the benefits of looking after the forests and how they contribute to society in general and to our livelihoods and our lives. Now, you look at the world population, it's expected to increase to 9 billion people by the year 2050. Some of the world's highest rates of population growth are predicted, predicted to occur in areas that are highly dependent on agricultural sectors. And that, of course, with South Africa included. The Food and Agriculture organization of the United Nations is at the forefront of the World Forestry Congress and to tell us more about their work we are joined by Eva Muller who is the director of the Food and Agriculture Organization. Wonderful to have you here and welcome to South Africa. Yeah thank you very much good morning. Yeah it's an absolute pleasure welcome. Now the world's fo total forest area I've got to read this makes up four billion hectares. Are forests under threat? I mean that that's a huge amount of land. It seems like a huge amount of land and it actually forests cover 30% of the Earth's surface. But at the same time, uh, they have been threatened for a long time and uh, deforestation is still continuing in many countries. So yes, forests cover a huge area, but this huge area has been decreasing over time. And this, of course, is a threat to all of us, uh, because forests are very important for a variety of reasons. Uh. Give us a sense of, of how they are decreasing. I mean, if we stand here, talk about figures of, of 4 billion hectares. A couple of years ago, what were we talking about? Was it double that? No, it's not quite that drastic. Okay. Um, and in fact, the, the rates of forest loss have been decreasing over time, which is good news. That is good news. Uh. But unfortunately, this decrease has not been very even. Uh, there are some areas of the world where forests are actually increasing, uh, in Europe, for example, and other areas of the world where they're still decreasing at a rate that is far too high, uh, especially Africa is one of the continents, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the importance. I mean, it's something that I've been asking every one of my guests because it's nice because I've been getting a different understanding from every single one of them, depending on the area that you focus in on. Why is it so important to preserve forests in a country? Forests are important for people. Huh? They're important for all of our lives. Uh, they don't only produce a wide range of products uh, like wood, everybody uses furniture, everybody uses wood in construction, but they also provide a lot of other products, uh, for example, uh, fibers, food, uh, seeds, uh, mushrooms, honey, and so on and so forth. And also very importantly, and this is something that is not very well recognized, uh, they provide a whole range of what we call the environmental services. Uh, mm -hmm. They help us uh, stabilize our climate, they help us uh, regulate water flows, they protect water catchments, and they also protect soils. Uh, mm -hmm. And if we lose forests, we lose all of that, and that affects agriculture and food production, and then of course also all of us. Yeah, which does, it impacts on all of our lives and, and that's why this year the theme, uh, just to read it, forest and people investing in a sustainable future. Um, let's elaborate a little bit more on this, this particular theme and, and, and food security which is really at the top of the agenda. Yes, this theme was chosen exactly for the reasons I explained earlier, uh, that forests are for people yeah. uh, and uh, they are important for people in many ways. So um, if we want to invest in a sustainable future, we also have to invest in forests. And this means not only in the forests themselves, but also in the capacity of people to uh, use the forests in a more sustainable way and manage them in a more sustainable way. Yeah. But you, you look at the growth of a population and that, and that really is one of the big ones. I mean. It's a major challenge and a driver of change affecting forests because, I mean, you'll see a forest destroyed so that a community can move in, build houses, build office blocks, shopping centers and things like that. And I mean, that's a reality with a, a major population growth. Is it a challenge that, that, that you are struggling to, to fight? 
Yes, of course it is certainly a challenge, but we also shouldn't forget that uh, still 80% of the forest conversion that takes place takes place because uh, land is cleared for agriculture. And yesterday we had a meeting um, of the heads of international organizations, including the Director General of FAO, who gave a strong message saying that it is no longer necessary globally to expand the area for agriculture to grow more food at the expense of forests. Yeah. Yeah. We are perfectly able to produce enough food with the land we have. And also there's a lot of waste of food in many countries, which is something that should be reduced too, to improve food security. Yeah, yeah. Just, just finally, as we, as we hand back to our Johannesburg studios, women and youth are, are a huge um, issue that's going to be spoken about at the conference or the Congress. What, what stance do you take on this? I mean, is there much of an involvement of women in this industry? Um, there's probably not enough involvement of women in forestry because uh, women traditionally have a huge role to play in using forest products, uh, but this is not very well recognized. And the major problem is also that many women don't have the official rights to use forests. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's totally undervalued how um, they take care of forests and how they use forest products very often to feed their families. You know that in many countries, women are the ones who collect the firewood to cook the food. And without firewood, there is no hot food on the table. Yeah. And they also collect medicines, they collect other products to weave baskets from and so on and so forth. So all of these activities are extremely important for the livelihoods of people in the rural areas. But the women don't have the official access rights to forests. And that's a huge problem. Well, let's uh, hope that this, uh, this Congress uh, addresses some of these issues and we move forward on those decisions. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure to have you here on the program. Eva Muller, who is the director of the Food and Agriculture organization that's based in Rome. Thank you again. Thank you. It was my pleasure.